Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm your host, Eric Sue, And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to talk about the best place or the best services for finding freelancers. So I guess I can kick this one off. There's a lot of different ways to find great freelancers. I'm going to start off with designers because marketers need great designers to produce great ads, great landing pages, and things like that. So what I like to do when I'm starting off is I like going to sites like Dribble. So that's D-R-I-B-B-B-L-E. So that is three Bs, dribble.com. And I like to look for portfolios. If I'm looking for infographic designers, I'm just going to type into the search infographic. Or if I'm looking for very specific you know, software as a service, I might just type in SaaS or pricing page. Whatever I'm looking for exactly, I'm going to go into Dribble. Same thing with Behance. I can do something very similar and find these people, reach out to them, and then go from there. Those two are really good in terms of finding designers. But then you also have other options such as uh, 99designs. So that's 99designs.com. And that's where you can create a contest and have other designers compete for to help you create a logo and you just pick the best one you like and you end up paying for that one. You can also go to, what I like to do is I like, if I'm looking to create an infographic, you can go to visual.ly. So that's V-I-S-U-A-L dot L-Y. And then you can look for infographics that are great. So um, there's a lot of different options when it comes to designers, but those are some starting points. Another site that I love using is Upwork. It's Odesk and Elance combined. They merge and then they change your domain name to Upwork.com, U-P-W-O-R-K.com. Now, most people say that the freelancers on Upwork suck and a lot of them do. But the issue isn't the freelancers. It's the people trying to find the freelancers, right? What I mean by this is one, what you're looking for isn't clear. If you don't lay out specifically like exactly to the T on what you're looking for, you're going to end up finding people who aren't going to produce what you want. In addition to that, you can't just hire people based on a few reviews and a few items in their portfolio. You have to look for people who have done very similar work to what you're looking for. If you find them on Upwork, which you can because there's so many people, then you're going to be much more likely to be satisfied. And another similar site to Upwork is freelancer.com. Great. And if you are looking for developers, there are a couple of sites out there as well. You can use TopTal. Uh, that's T-O-P-T-A-L, and they hired the top 3% of developers. Uh, there's also one company that uh, Mark Zuckerberg recently backed for about $24 million. I believe uh, it's called Andela, and they're based, they're really good developers based in South Africa. And also you can use uh, our lead developer right now that I have at uh, Single Grain. Uh, I got him off of CodePen. So you can just search for the CodePen, that's C-O-D-E-P-E-N. That's uh, their forum, and there's a lot of great developers there. The guy I have, I mean, he he literally will he'll read my mind. He'll spot things that I've you know that I wouldn't spot. Um, he's a lot more detail oriented than than I am, and um, yeah, that's a, that's another great spot to go to. Uh, you can also use Crew. That's C R E W dot C O Crew dot C O. Those are a couple ways to find a great developers, and also l- let's not forget about good old you know word of mouth. You know, Neil and I have shared freelancers in the past. Ask your friends. I mean, you know, if they've done well in the past, chances are they have some good freelancers and they might or might not be willing to share them. Speaking of developers, you can also find them from crossover.com, C-R-O-S-S-O-V-E-R.com. And they have a beautiful model. They help you find full-time developers that are overseas like remote. But the beautiful part about their model is they're so confident that they can find you better developers than what you have. They'll be cheaper and they finish stuff faster, which is really rare that they even pay for the two months free. So your first two months, you don't have to pay crossover a dime and they pay for everything. You can keep the code and everything that they produce if you're not happy and you don't have to continue with them. If you do want to continue with them, you keep going and then you can cancel whenever you want. In addition to finding developers, designers, marketers, et cetera, using all these sites, also look at LinkedIn. And I know that may sound weird to you. Like LinkedIn is a place where you go to find full-time employees. But you know what? I love going to LinkedIn and finding people who've worked on other projects within my industry. And I'll hit them up and I'll pay them even if it's a premium per hour, but I'll have them work on my stuff on the side. They're really qualified. They know what they're doing. They can get the job done right and quick. 
and it's worth every single penny. My secret weapon when it comes to even freelancers or even full-time people is AngelList. So that's angel.co. Now, this is an angel investing site where people are typically looking for deals, but it's also a recruiting site as well where people can post their profiles. And the thing with this site is if you're on a site like AngelList right now, you're a different type of person. You know, the fact that you're looking at investments means you're very savvy, you're, you're into the tech world. So you're a different ty- type of person fundamentally. And, um, you know, one person we have came from AngelList. And, you know, he over delivered, um, you know, way more than any other candidate out there. And, you know, he's he's full time as, as part of our, our team right now. So AngelList is great. You can find developers there, designers, writers, whatever it is exactly, even marketers as well um, is a great place. And then if you're looking again, building on the writers portion, you can go to problogger.net. Uh, this is a site that Neil and I have both talked about in the past. You can go there and post on the job board to find really good writers. But I think one thing to add to all of this is that more often than not, it's it's not really about the the people. It's about your hiring process. It's really about you. Like Neil mentioned, you have to have a good hiring process in place, um, or else you are going to lose your shirt. So make sure to look into your, your you know you can just Google hiring processes, or Neil and I might even talk about hiring processes in in the future. Neil, when you're hiring people. Be very clear on what you're looking for. I know I mentioned this already, but I can't emphasize it enough. And ask them, can you do this for me? And if they say yes, great. Ask them how. When is it going to be delivered? Right? What should you expect? And if they give you responses, great. If they don't, then there could be something wrong. And if they say they can do it all and they can break it down and it sounds right, you should even ask them, have you done this for anyone else? And can you please show me examples? The other thing that I've done is, I find a lot of people on the social web, like Twitter, Facebook, I just reach out. So like I'll do a posting on my Facebook fan page or my Facebook profile page saying, hey, does anyone know, you know, uh, a writer or a marketer uh, that's in these regions that's looking for some part time work? And that's another great way, too, because if a friend refers someone to you, you know, they're not just going to refer any random stranger because they don't want to look bad. So they're really going to refer you to people that they know can produce and deliver on the results. Great. I think that's it for this episode of Marketing School. Let us know what you think, and we'll see you in tomorrow's episode. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.